Is Calgary getting too big? Calgary has just released that there's gonna be five new communities added while there's still 12 being built. So let's take a look and see if Calgary really is getting too big. Hey, it's Nathaniel Terryberry with the Terryberry Real Estate Group. Today we're going to be talking about is Calgary getting too big? So uh, on July 27th, Calgary, the city council announced that there would be an addition of five new communities with another three possible depending on a meeting in November. So some people have said, I've been reading the comments on the news and what I've seen on Twitter and everything and people are not very happy that Calgary continues to build outwards and it just is like it's getting way too big now area wise. So when we look at Calgary, it's got a population of just under 1.4 million therefore population is not the problem at all we still have lots of room to accommodate these people however the actual area of calgary is what is getting cause for concern for some people um, maybe just getting frustrated that it keeps on getting out so big instead of us redeveloping communities that have already been established within calgary so calgary is actually a really really large city we are about 825 square kilometers of area now to put that in perspective somewhere like toronto will be around 630 square kilometers and vancouver just 115 square kilometers so when comparing the population of calgary at 1.4 compared to toronto at 2.7 and you look at the areas toronto at 200 square kilometers less you'd think that calgary just has plenty of room to house all these people and we wouldn't actually need to add five more communities to our city. So the main reason when we actually start looking at why has Calgary expanded so much, take a look at this map. This explains kind of why we have not built within Calgary a little bit more versus continuing to expand outwards. So this yellow map shows all the residential lots in Calgary where only standalone houses are permitted to be built. So as you can see, that is a vast majority of the areas in Calgary. This has to do to zoning permissions and what you are allowed to build on certain city lots. So for example, in all of these orange areas, it is only permitted that one single house be built on that land. Now, when you go to other communities like Killarney, Altador, North Glenmore Park, Tuxedo Park, they actually have RC2 zoning, which is where you're allowed to build two houses on one lot. This is becoming very popular. People will buy a bungalow, knock it down, put up two homes, and you can sell them for more than you bought the original bungalow for. So this is kind of stirring up some redevelopment in those areas, which is really good to see. That way we're not growing outwards. You can actually get a really nice brand new home in the center of Calgary, known as an infill. I'm sure you've heard of those before. And that is kind of what people have been calling for to be allowed to change some of the bungalows from just single dwelling unit only to the RC2 zoning, which would then allow way more redevelopment within established communities already, instead of just continuing to build the city outwards. So what is gonna be happening in the future then? Well, it kind of looks like we have a big little zoning crisis on the horizon and city council is going to have to figure out how to deal with that. Uh, in 2018, Edmonton actually voted to get, completely get rid of the RC1 zoning or single do unit dwelling um, so that everything can be, be built with some permits. Uh, makes it a little bit easier. They see more redevelopment in their established communities and I could see something like that working within Calgary. However, in an interview, the Calgary planning director did state that they are planning to ease infill restrictions. So maybe taking their foot off the gas a little bit on that one which could see further easing of these zoning requirements and restrictions however it is impossible to know until we actually get there but we don't want to keep seeing calgary just expand and expand and expand and take over all this farmland that we have around us let me know down in the comments what do you think is calgary getting too big or should we just keep expanding all the way if you do have any questions about calgary or the calgary real estate market feel free drop us a comment below shoot us an email and we'd be happy to answer them for you and while you're here make sure you click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any calgary market information until next time, I'm Nathaniel Terryberry. See you then.